Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here again with PA Creative and today I want to show you just a quick way to add a second line of text to your Divi menu. So like like say you want to add just a, um, a row of explainer text, just a little phrase or a word or something underneath each of the menu items or, or one menu item or whatever. It's actually really easy. I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's get started. You know, adding a second line of text is pretty unique and it also can serve some really good purposes. So it can call out an item or maybe you want to just like add like a clever little cute phrase or something underneath each menu item. In fact, I'm going to show you that in this tutorial because I'm going to be walking through a demo. So let's just jump right into this here and we're going to start by going to our WordPress dashboard and go to appearance menus. So I'm going to do that over here. I have my example site all ready to go here and I'm in my menus and I have a menu set up and everything. And so far it looks pretty normal home store, blog contact, you know, whatever. These are just examples. And then over here is how that is looking right now. I'm just using the menu module. All right, so let's add a line of text under each one of these. So to start, well, first of all, let's make sure we're following along our tutorial here. You can find this on our blog, and if you're on YouTube, you can see it linked in the description. All right, so basically the first thing we need to do is a really simple thing, but basically just make sure that you open up their menu item here. Well, first of all, obviously have a menu. Um, you could either be modifying one of your existing menus, you could select one from your list, or just be, you know, maybe you're making a new menu for this. Um, but basically, just have this opened up, and you'll see there's a navigation label. And this is the input field where we are going to be working. All right, so right now it just says home. Now we could, we could edit that, but, and um, we're going to add to it actually in this tutorial. All right, so the next step is adding a span tag. Now, I, I kind of wanted to explain what a span tag is. It's um, it's a tag that is used for inline elements. So it basically, it's like adding a div inside another element. Um, and so in this case, you know, we're adding a span tag to the menu, um, the navigation label text, and it creates a separate element, a separate div, of text that we can then style and have it look the way we want it. So it's like adding another div to each menu item. So the first step here is just to add the span tag after the menu item. In fact, we could just copy this here. Um, but basically you add the span tag, then you add your text, and then you have a closing span tag and the closing one has that forward slash there. So I'm going to just copy this and go back in here and right there where it says home paste that in there and i'm going to save my menu so essentially what we did here is just made more text in our menu item so here home a second line of text here well that's really dumb um that doesn't look right it looks terrible so but we got to remember that even though it seems like it's still one piece right these are actually two separate items that we can style now separately. So what we want to do is move this down to a new line, keep home on its own line, and then style it, okay? So back in the tutorial here, we can see, you know, how that looked, but basically here we need to copy some CSS, and this is pretty simple, and it's kind of wide open as well. You can customize this and do it however you want, but what I'm going to do here is just copy my example snippet here and by the way here's where you can go to add it if you're using a child theme put it in your style.css file or if you're not then you can just put it in Divi theme options in the custom CSS box all right so right now I'm going to go in here able enable my visual builder and paste it in and show you how this looks live on the page so I'm gonna go in here to my page settings the advanced tab, custom CSS. I'm doing this so I can show you live. So I'm pasting that there. And there you go. You can see that that text changed. So let me explain. The first thing we did, well, it's targeting the span tag. So you can see that we're saying nav, and that's basically just targeting the navigation, the list item, that's the menu item and the link, and then span. So we're targeting that span tag, and we're saying display block. 
Basically, instead of being in line how it was, we're making it block, which moves it to its own line. So if that's all we had in here, let's just say we didn't have any of that, it would still be on its own line. So display block would be how to put it on its own line and we'd be done. But I wanted to show you a couple extra things like adding the collar right here. I added a gray collar to it. You could do whatever you want. The font size, I made it 80%. So that way it keeps, you know, whatever size you have set here, it takes 80% of that. I made it italic that way you can just see the difference. Um, the letter spacing, I added that. Um, line height, 1.7 EM. I just did a couple things, you know, to let you see, you know, basically what you can do with this. So I could also do um, text transform, something like that. If I wanted it to be all caps, um, I could, you know, add a border, something like that. You can do whatever you want here. You can really, you can do whatever you want. Um, you can align it. Let's say I wanted it to be a line left or center, right, whatever. Um, basically, anything you can do to text, you can do here in the CSS. So basically, what I'm giving you is a template for you to be able to then style it. So basically, the template would technically be that. And then I'm giving you a couple examples of what you can do to this. So basically, you could come in here. Um, and in fact, let's just go back to our menu and I'll show you how you could actually use this in a more practical way. So let's say home. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and copy this to each one while we're at it. And you could say something like clever on each one of these. Um, so like store, for example, you could be like, um, a place to buy things. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just putting stuff in here. Blog. And you could say something like where we compose our thoughts. Um, contact. Reach out to us. There's, you know, I'm just giving examples, but um, what did I have for home? We'll just leave it there. So let's save that and then go back here to my page and exit the builder here. And here's how that would look. Um, you, uh, again, you could style these very differently. We probably should make these main words a lot bigger just to make them stand out differently. Um, but I hope this helps you and gives you a good place to start. You know, my tutorials are meant to be like starting points and then you can go and learn from there. So I don't wanna just have it always be, you know, here's your snippet and you're done, but I want it to be something where here's your base snippet and then you go from there. So I hope that you guys enjoy this and I'd love to see you know, some of your examples of what you do with this. And I know that there's a lot of possibilities here to make this unique and I'd love to see that and especially combining this with our other menu tutorials. Okay, there you go. Now you know how to add that second line of text there underneath your Divi menu items. If you enjoyed that and found that useful, be sure to be checking out our entire menu series. Um, I think there's probably close to 25 tutorials in that series. So definitely be sure to be checking that out and be following along here for more tips like this. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.